Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sticker Fab. I had just completed the installation of the Oracle fog lights for the OEM HD modular heavy duty bumper, the steel one that you could option out on the uh, 2021 and 2022 Broncos. And I did not look at all the message threads in Bronco 6G, but apparently there were aiming problems uh, just straight out of the box. When you mount them, they are just mounted very rigid on a steel bracket. It does make it really easy for installation. All of it goes in at once. There's not a lot of complicated wiring at all. And if you watch my installation video or my kind of overview of it, um, the whole process was about 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, the video is only eight minutes. It's really easy. Um, so people were told to put two millimeter washers behind those um, these little Allen screws so that you could raise the angle on it. Now, I'm a vendor. I purchased these at a discount so I can resell it to you guys. And I want to become familiar with the products and I don't mind if I break them as much as I would if I were you. And I wouldn't want to break uh, any warranties if I were you either. Um, so people went to Lowe's, they found nylon washers that seemed to work really well. Um, I'm going to be honest what I did. I have a hammer here and the end is rubber. So these mounts are kind of separated into different areas. I was blocking off light and seeing what was causing the light to go above the headlights and all the other lights. Um, I stepped back over to my golf cart and I kind of looked at the headlights and I was noticing that the fog lights were blinding me before the headlights did. Now, the factory low beams, that there's nothing you can do about those. The light hits where the light hits. Uh, but I didn't want the fog lights to kind of hit me before the headlights. So I adjusted each one uh, basically by putting this rubber part right up against the lower part of the lens and bracket and I just kind of pushed, kind of put all my force into it until it stayed back. So I leveled these out. Um, a few of them uh, I went over and then I had to push them back from the back side, but uh, it was pretty easy to do that. So if you don't want to get the nylon nuts, uh, this is the way I did it. I wouldn't suggest doing it because it might void your warranty, but I will come back with an update if these lights go out for any reason. Um, but now I have usable light and it all kind of stays below uh, the headlights. So I'm not worried about people flashing their high beams at me. Um, these are lights that I want to use on a normal basis. I missed having fog lights. Come on, see what it looks like from the cab. Ooh, it's still. Okay, yeah, still super hot in Fort Myers. I hope CarPlay didn't kill my other video, but let's turn off the fogs. Let's turn off the low beams. So low beams right there. We'll add the fogs to them. And then I will turn off the low beams. So not really too much light is creeping above that low beam mark. See, just a little light that's very spread out, but most of it stays from this line below, which is pretty good. Let me turn the low beams off again. High beams. Low, high. And then just the CR21 off-road ditch lights. That's what that does. They are pointed to the obliques, the diagonals a little bit. So pretty cool. Allows you to navigate through the night with a little bit more confidence, especially at speed, or if you're navigating tight trails and you need to see around the corner a little bit more. Let's look at the Defender for a point of reference. 
Nice, huh? Okay, so please leave comments in the comment section below. Uh, I'm sure you guys have a lot of thoughts about this system, uh, how we're aiming them, stuff like that. Feel free to just go wild in that section. Uh, please like this video, though. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we're working on for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco. Uh, and if you do decide to purchase any of these products, please feel free to visit our site and purchase it there. Thanks a lot.